Hey everybody, my first guest tonight has starred in the films Triple X and The Fast and the Furious. Beginning today, you can see him in The Pacifier. Please welcome Vin Diesel. <laughs> That's nice, right? Yeah, that's really nice. I just ran over here from the dressing room. Yeah, that's very nice. Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you ran out to come on stage? <laughs> you should have seen me dive from behind. The I bet curtains. you I bet you when you run, you can have a real cool run. I got a cool run. I run, run like this. I like kind of run. Get on run right there. I'm just like, yeah, I'm just run like that. But you're kind of more of like a uh, and you got those, you know, chest going and everything. Yeah, yes. Because you work out. You got the you probably got that man boobies that, you know. I do. I have I Don't have touch man them boobs. right now on the air. Stop In that. Fact, Stop I got that. a funny story. Yeah? Should I tell it? Sure, yeah. This is one of those talk show things. Okay. Why not? Now, this isn't that funny. It's actually depressing. I was in this audition. <laughs> no, no, I got a funny story. All right, let's hear it. Actually, it's really depressing. It's really horrible. Get your tissues out. I was in this audition about 10 years ago. Right. Maybe 15 years ago. And I was wearing a tank top, and I was a bouncer, obviously, so I was training three hours a day or whatever. Right, right. And I'm in this audition, and I'm sitting down, and they're saying, well, where have you acted, and how long have you been acting? And the whole time, my chest is going like this. Why was it? Were you doing that to your chest? Or no, your no, no. Your, your my chest, chest was moving. On its like, own? Like, you know, back and forth. Why? Why was it... And it was so, How are you I, doing that? Look at that. How do you, in, I, don't you ha, I, a, don't, I don't have those muscles. Do you, but it was, a, it was a very scary thing because it was unintentional. Right, right, right. So it was so just... I was trying to have a You were working out so much that you're... you're I was were, working out so much that it was... Invo- it was that was so crazy. I can't... Just do that one more time. I mean, That's... Oh, my God. I mean, God. I got nothing left, but I mean... I mean, it was Does a it crazy... Does it make a noise? Help I me, think so. me. <laughs> Let us out. Let us out. Um, Who knew? I is mean, this true? I've heard that you, you know, uh, that you had a nickname for your biceps at one point. Is that true? Well, when we were growing up, there were these uh, skateboard wheels that just came out in the seventies called Kryptonics. Right, right. Did you skateboard when you were? In the God, no. What are you talking about? <laughs> just checking. I wore. A, I, I drove a pink girl's bicycle. <laughs> So did I with, in the pacifier. With streamers. No, up until I was like 38. You know? <laughs> but anyway, so you were on, so, so you called your biceps what, Krypton? So, we, you know, there were a lot of different slang words in New York that you would use when you were training. And right, one right. of them was, my God, I'm going to build up these Kryptonics. Really? You'd say that? Yeah. Check out my training wheels You'd right here. You'd be in the That's mirror, <laughs> I tell you. He's like, yeah, you just really, and so, but that probably helped you really get into it, you know? That would yeah, really... I mean, it's, it's a silly little thing. That sure, you... yeah, it helps. Yeah. Well, let's talk about this, because you have, there's, of course, the image that many people have of you, which is like this, you know, this badass action, uh-huh. action hero, and you've earned that reputation. But last time we were on the show, we started talking, and it just came out that you're a huge Dungeons and Dragons fanatic, uh-huh. and I thought, like, well, maybe he's just saying that to get a laugh. Uh-huh. This Dungeons and Dragons book comes out the other day, and you wrote the foreword. It says "Forward by Vin Diesel." <laughs> you're really into this stuff. I didn't realize how much you're into it. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all these guys in their audience are like, "No, he can't be into it." Um, and all these nerds are going, "Hooray!" <laughs> One for our side! Um, <laughs> so, but, you know, I'm, so I'm looking through, like, and you have this, you have a line in here in the foreword that says, the most important milestone for me was the birth of Melkor. Mm-hmm. <laughs> who the hell is Melkor? Hey! Oh, no, no, I mean, I'm not saying, like, who the hell is Melkor fight me. I'm more like, oh, I wonder who Melkor could be. Uh, <laughs> Melkor was a character that I created when I was about 18 years old. Right. Who was a witch hunter. Right. Uh, so you can create your own characters in this game. Yeah. Yeah. He was a fighter with spell casting abilities. Right. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh huh. Uh huh. The allure being the mysticism heal yourself spell. Right, right. So you thought of this character. You can invent your own. See, I don't know the game too well. I'm mm-hmm. a hungry, hungry hippos guy. Uh, <laughs> The hippos eat the little pellets, and I always pick blue. Um, 
And then there's a character called an NPC. Is that right or no? There's well, not, it's, what is an NPC? I don't even know what that is in I, Dungeons and Dragons. An NPC is a non-player character. Right. Um, if you were, if I was DMing and you were a character, you'd be a player. Right. If there was somebody else in your party, that would be an NPC, an, a non-player character that I would control as the DM. So I would. I think you just ruined your career. <laughs> <laughs> I think agents are calling right now. We don't want him in that movie. It's too much. <laughs> um, wow, I, I'm confused. I had so much, but I, I, it's amazing that you got that book. Yeah, I was the first in line. Uh, I was really. <laughs> that's the you twist. Know, that's a very cool book, by the way. That's 30 years of adventure, right. With Dungeons and Dragons, it's a celebration. There are, are it's cool writer, artwork in here. Yeah, actually, there are cinematographers, directors, and stuff all talking about right the effect of the game. Right, right. So you really are into <laughs> He's it. He's like, right, right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I'm not going to disagree with no, you. You're right. You could tie me up into a knot. Ah, <laughs> 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 Dungeons and Dragons. Bam. Ah. <laughs> Why to Why would Diesel? you say I would tie you up into a knot? I don't know because you're such a strong guy and you have a nickname for your pecs. I think that would be. <laughs> <laughs> I saw this show a couple of nights ago. Your show. Don't, why is that so shocking? I know. They, why is everyone like, huh? what? Uh, and there was this funny thing on it that I couldn't stop laughing about. That's the any night nuts? you just described. You just described any night. The slip nuts. Yeah, yeah. the slip nuts were just on the that show. That was great. They're a group that, uh, that, that is, it's a long story. They pour nuts on the floor and slip on them. <laughs> Have you the guys seen of, the slip nuts? That's the, that's the kind <laughs> of con- have you seen the Slipknots? It's a good, yeah. The Slipknots are they're going places. They're actually touring right now with Slipknot, the group. I heard, no, yeah. but that's serious, right? That's, that's serious. I thought it was great. Yeah, it's going to be fun. It was very um, guys and dolls. What? It was oh. very guys oh, the, oh, and dolls. Oh, the do- play. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I thought you were describing... We slipped descri- on some nuts. Descri- we <laughs> slipped on some nuts. Okay. <laughs> We are the slip nuts climbing around. It is, guy, it is guys nuts. on dolls. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's nice of you I mean, to. Your whole show is like a musical. Yeah, it is. I don't know what's wrong with this show. We're gonna fix it one day. No, it's, I think it's hot. We'll, I mean, get, we'll it's get there. We'll get there. Uh, but let's. Enough about my show and the slip nuts. We'll work that in later. Okay. You're here to talk about the pacifier. Yes. And uh, and 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 you know I've seen this one clip uh, that they show in the trailers. That's you with. Is it a goose or a duck? It's a duck. Yeah, it's a duck, and it looks like it's attacking you. And I found, I thought, well, that's just a funny thing that they did, like CGI or something for the no, movie. Yeah. It turns out that this duck really did attack you, and you got hurt. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, Adam Shankman, to his credit, didn't want to use a CGI duck. Wanted to use a real duck. Right. And so this thing, where did it, it grab well, you? Well, they the- said, this is a duck that kisses ears. It's not a big deal. It's not going to hurt you. So I'm in this scene with Faith Ford. All of a sudden... This duck comes over and clamps onto my ear. I get up. I've got a duck earring. <laughs> the I mean, duck is hanging off your ear. Hanging off my ear. Right, right. And so we're sawing my ear off. We're getting. We're prying open the bill. Right. I'm walking around with this duck earring. I felt like I was on the ground floor of Saks Fifth Avenue. Right, 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 right. Give like me. I want to try the accessories. I want to try the duck. Yeah. I'll try the duck. Earring. So did they? They got it off. Was the duck okay? The duck was okay. Yeah. Were you but okay? It drew blood for wow. the first time. Wow. Wow. And the duck trainer said, "It's never done that." Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they always say after they're taking away the carcass. Right. The bear never did that before. But I only got one ear. <laughs> yeah. Well, we have a clip here from the pacifier. What do we need to know to, to, to appreciate what's going um, on here? This is basically you're like a Navy SEAL who's been sent to protect a family, uh-huh. and then you get involved with the, uh, with the kids. And then I fall in love with the family, yeah. Right. Is that pretty much well, that's all we need to know for this clip? I think so. What the hell? Let's take a look at this clip from the pacifier. We'll take this hill one inch at a time. Only then can we rise to the challenge. Please tell me that was the duck. Seth, are you going to go check on that duck? It wasn't the duck. God, baby. Ready? Try this. Yes. If only that worked. That doesn't work. You can't do that. You can't do that. I was so self-conscious about that scene. Right, right. I was like, is this right? Are we, are we sure this is? It's not right. You're not allowed to do that. See, if only babies you. would learn. Uh, the pacifier is in theaters now. Th- it's, you're always a good sport. My Thanks God. for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Vin Diesel, Fred Armisen coming up. We'll take a break. We'll be right back.